you want your videos to do well on YouTube? Well, today I'm going to be going over five terrible mistakes you should avoid. Let's get to it. Number one, your intro is too long or it does not serve the video well. This can kill your audience retention if you aren't careful. Your intro should be quick, effective and set up the premise of the video in about five to eight seconds. This is critical to nail on the head. So make sure you aren't wasting your viewers time with a sloppy intro. This is what all of your favourite YouTubers like Mr Beast and PewDiePie do to make sure that their viewers are staying to watch their content. You want to do well on YouTube don't you? Just make sure you fix the intro. Number two, you don't cut the filler enough. Don't you hate it when you need to search up a quick fix or solution for a problem you have? And the guy in the tutorial apparently shot the editor with how much filler is in the video. Yeah, me too. In all of your videos, think about if you really need a certain section or a bit of dialogue. If you don't, cut it. If you do, keep it. I'll show an example. Listen to this intro to one of my older videos and compare it with one of my newer ones. Today, we're going to check out Dal E Mini, which is, to my knowledge at least, a AI kind of drawing. Number one, have a good consistent pace in your videos. This means that you should never be too slow in your video editing, but yeah. Yeah, you can notice the difference from a mile away. Don't bore your audience. The third mistake, there isn't stakes or conflict. These two are key in making a video entertaining, as the viewer knows if you fail at something, there's going to be consequences for you or for someone or something else. For example, look at Mr Beast's videos. In many of his videos, if he or someone else succeeds, there's a win for them. He sets up stakes and so when someone succeeds, the viewer is actually invested because there is risk involved. It's a good strategy to hook those viewers of yours and keep them invested. This is easier said than done, but it is possible, and if you do it right, you'll notice some higher numbers on your statistics. Number 4. Your thumbnails or tags aren't sufficient enough. In every one of your videos or shorts, you should aim for about 15 to 20 tags. A decent description size, and a thumbnail that catches the viewer's attention over others. As well as maybe an end screen as well, if you want. So make sure that your thumbnails and tags represent the video well. Otherwise, you'll be losing out on good viewers. Number 5. If you avoid making this mistake, you'll be ahead of loads of people and your videos have a higher chance of doing well in the algorithm. My tip is, only make YouTube videos when you have a solid idea to back it. Do not do what I did for so long and think if you just make videos based on, oh I guess I'll record this, cause why not, you'll reach any kind of success. For example, before I make one of these videos, I think, what would past me benefit from? What did he struggle with? What could he have improved on? And once I figure that out, I realise others struggled or struggle with the same thing and so I make a video. Your videos should always be backed by a solid idea. Maybe not a million dollar Mr Beast style one with a big fancy budget, but a solid, decent idea will do. And those are five YouTube mistakes you should be avoiding. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.